Hey what's up guys, KSK here. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step, a detailed guide of downgrading any iPhone from iOS 11 to iOS 10. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so this video will help to downgrade your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch from iOS 11 to iOS 10. So no matter whatever the version of iOS 11 that you're running like beta 1, beta 2 or beta 3, whatever the version of iOS 11. So you will be able to downgrade back to the iOS 10 if you follow this method. So also in this video, I am using a method called the a clean install method aka a restore iPhone. So this will going to be allow us to install the iOS 10 as a completely a brand new and completely fresh so that means everything will be erased if you follow this method so all of your information like photos your messages your contacts your videos everything will be gone and please be sure that you need to make a complete a backup of your device using the iCloud so once you're done backing up all of your important information and now we are good to go so now go ahead and open the a uh, settings now inside the settings you need to look for the option called the uh, touch ID and passcode when you click on the touch ID and passcode you can find the option called the uh, turn passcode off so we need to uh, turn off the uh, passcode so just in case if you have set up a passcode on your iPhone so please be make sure that we need to turn off the uh, passcode now once you're done that and we are good to go now again go back to the uh, main page of your settings and go to the uh, iCloud and inside the iCloud settings you're gonna find the option called the uh, find my iPhone now select the find my iPhone if it is enabled here please be make sure that we need to uh, disable it so while downgrading back to the iOS 10 so our older versions of iOS it's very important to turn off the uh, find my iPhone so now we are ready and we, everything is set now back to the uh, computer view so in this video we will be using the iTunes that means we will not be using any third-party software and you can also use the uh, Windows computer or Mac so currently uh, to demonstrate the video for you guys I'm using the uh, Mac OS 10 so also don't forget to check Check the links in the description so make sure that you need to update your itunes to the latest version which is a 12.16 i guess so you need to update your itunes whenever you downgrade your iphone so anyway now go ahead and open the safari now inside the safari url you need to type this website called ipsw.me so this will gonna be take you to this web page here uh, you will be able to downgrade the uh, frameworks for your iPhone uh, manually so now you can select the iPhone iPad or iPod touch I'm gonna select the iPhone so I'm using the iPhone 6 so I'm gonna be select my device here the iPhone 6 in the list you can select your device in the list I'm gonna go ahead and click on the iPhone 6 now when you see this page you need to uh, pay a close attention here so there are two types Types of the frameworks are available one is the signed IPSW's another one is the unsigned IPSW's which is in the red color so don't download at this one so because Apple is no longer supporting or no longer signing this uh, frameware so currently Apple is signing only these two frameworks which is in the green color which is the iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 10.3.3 by the time of the recording of this video so I'm gonna go ahead and select the iOS 10.3.2 because it's still it's been signed by Apple I'm gonna go ahead and download that version so as you can see I have downloaded it and I placed it my on my desktop so the file might gonna be look like this it's a very big file around I a uh, two gigs in size so now go ahead and open the iTunes on your Windows computer or Mac now go ahead and take your USB cable and connect your iPhone from the computer so when you first time connecting your iPhone to the iTunes so iPhone will gonna be prompt you to trust the computer so go ahead and do that so as you can see the iTunes detected my computer sorry my iPhone here now in the in this page you can see under the backups you can under the backups you can see the option called the this computer so if you try to back up uh, your iPhone data so because you know we are in the iOS 11 if you try to back up the iOS 11 data after downgrading back to the iOS 10 you will no longer able to restore the iOS 11 data inside the iOS 10 that's not gonna be possible anyway we already have and made a backup using the iCloud 
There are two options are available. One is a restore iPhone, which is the method that we will be using. So that will gonna be wipe everything. So if you don't want to lose your data, so you can choose for a check for update. So we will be using the uh, restore iPhone method here. So on your Windows, you need to hold a shift plus a left click. On the Macintosh, you need to hold the option key plus a left click and then click on the uh, restore iPhone button. Once you click on that, that's going to be uh, take you to the uh, finder. Now we need to uh, navigate for the file and we need to select the uh, iPhone firmware file which is the iOS 10.3.2 and then click on the open. So when you click on the open, so the iTunes might going to be warning you, this will going to be erased and it's going to be restore your iPhone to the iOS 10.3.2. So please click on the restore and also make sure that you have backed up all of your important information. So once you click on the restore, it's going to be start extracting the software while extracting the software on itunes you might going to be a see as some prompting messages like this so if you see these messages go ahead and click on the apply and then a uh, one more time you need to click on the uh, restore button just in case if you see these prompting messages now uh, automatically the itunes will going to be perform the magic so don't interrupt anything so leave your iphone as well as your computer alone and don't touch anything also and don't remove the usb cable while downgrading back to ios 10 so anyway so once everything is done I will be right back with you guys All right, so now the iTunes has been successfully uh, flashed the new firmware, which is iOS 10.3.2. And then don't interrupt your device and don't detach the USB cable until you see the message on iTunes like welcome to the new iPhone. So when you see this message and go ahead and detach the USB cable from your iPhone. Now I'm going to be bypass the uh, welcome screen by fast forwarding the video so, so, so that you don't get bored. Now that's it and that's how you can downgrade your iPhone from iOS 11 to iOS 10. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye now.